Hello, hello guys, welcome back. It's time for another short and sweet tutorial. This time we're going to learn how to serialize and deserialize Java classes to and from JSON using Jackson. I have here a class product, it's pretty simple. It's a Java bean. I have three properties here. I have a default constructor because we need that. I have a parameterized constructor and I have my getter and setters here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the Jackson dependence here on my Maven. Pom file. That's it. Now we are ready to go. Next step is to create a test for this class. Let's create a test. JUnit5. And that's it. I can now start writing my code. It's gonna avoid should serialize should JSON. First thing here, I'm gonna create a string, which is a JSON representation. As I'm gonna run as a test, I'm expecting this string to come back from my Java class. Next step is to create an instance of product. And I'm going to pass those parameters that I need. That's the ID, the name that's gonna be so far. And the quantity that's gonna be, let me take a look, 285. And that's it. Now, my actual value that's gonna be the translation. And for the translation, I need to instantiate an object mapper that is the Jackson's class that's responsible for doing the work. I'm gonna copy and paste here. It's gonna be write value as a string and please write my product. There is a warning here because it throws an exception. We can simply add exception to the signature and then we can make our assertion. Saying assert equals actual equals to expected JSON. Then we run our code and it should be green, should pass. Yeah, perfect. Now let's do the opposite which is, uh, let's create another test, void, should, and deserialize from JSON. We're going to give in a JSON, let's create a Java class. Um, the same thing here, that's gonna be my product JSON. Then I'm going to expect a product, it's gonna be object mapper dot read value from product JSON, just add that information inside an instance of a product. And again, we have a an exception to handle here. I add signature, that's fine. As you guys can see here, all good. Now I'm gonna do my assertion, which is uh, I want my object name it's gonna be product get name should be equals to uh, the value I have here, which is a gaming keyboard. Let me copy and paste, and there we go. Now let's run again both tests, and there it is. 